If you have been using tablets for sheet music with a band or orchestra, you will have realized that many charts have been set out to be used really only on printed paper. This is not always the best design or format for tablets where you only see one page at a time, especially where you have things like the DS with DCs or coders or repeated sections that require you to skip backwards and forwards between pages. So much better if you with tablets if you format the pages to make it easier to read the music by simply just keep scrolling forward. This chart has a repeated section that starts on page one and then goes to page two. Then you need to skip back to page one. Even with a foot switch, this is not the best way to keep track or for un un uninterrupted playing. Then on page two, there is a DS near the bottom of the page. You need to skip back to page one to the sign. And then you keep playing down on page one, it's about halfway down, and then you've got to skip to page two to the coder. Now you can do this with foot switches or finger swipes on the screen, but it's not really the best way or the best layout for the player. Using this chart with horizontal or page turning is not necessarily that easy. There are five back and forth page turns. I'm looking at uh, page one. There is a repeat section started uh, near the bottom uh, and it carries on. You've got to go to page two to the end of the repeat section. Then when you get there, you've got to go back to page one to carry on with the second time through the repeat section. And then you've got to jump again to page two to carry on with the second uh, version of the repeat. Then you carry on down to the uh, uh, DS sign near the bottom of page two. Then you've got to jump back to page one to the sign near the top of the page. Then near the bottom of the page, there is the code assigned and you've then got to go forward again to the page two to get to the coder and play out the coder. So there are, there are the five back and forth page turns. So um, in fact, sheet music as such is not really designed or formatted to be viewed on a tablet. Here is the same PDF part using vertical or continuous scrolling. All you need now for this awkward repeated section is to scroll down about half a page and you can see the whole of the um, repeated section parts one and two uh, on both page one and page two because part of page two is showing. So having played the second part, part you can then scroll down a little bit more and you can read right down to the DS sign because you still when you get to the DS you've got to scroll back up to get to the sign and then you've got to play down to the um, the code assign and then you've got to scroll onto page two again or right up to get to skip to the coder at the bottom of what is page two. So this is much easier than using um, horizontal scrolling or page turning but still not perfect and it still needs can be much improved so you don't have to do any backwards and forwards and you can do continuous scrolling from top to bottom without any going back. Which will The steps to format a PDF chart are simply to merge two or more copies of the actual PDF chart, then clock the pages individually to select the sections that you need, then blank out any half lines that are not really necessary or part of what you want to play, then annotate to highlight repeats and DCs, DSs and coders and so on, and then finally save the file to the completed PDF. To format this demonstration chart, we will need to merge two copies of the file to give four pages, and then crop pages two, three, and four to extract the parts for the continuous display on the tablet. Here it is showing pages one and two. Page one, there is no need to crop, and page two, just crop down to the DS. Here are pages three and four. Page three is cropped from the sign to the coder, and page four is cropped just to, to extract the coder. Now we will move on to see how the complete format is done using free online software. 
Here is the Sodo PDF online screen. Need to merge two copies of the PDF demonstration chart to get it ready for formatting. So on this page you will simply click on merge. Now click on select file and choose your PDF chart two times to build up to the, uh, the, the required uh, four page chart. The screen shows two copies of the file have been added. Now click on merge to merge the two files into one file and then go to download the four page file. Now open the PDF online page and choose crop. Then open the newly merged PDF file and choose to crop each page as required and then save the cropped file. Next you need to remove or white out some half lines where the music jumps halfway across the line. For this you use the rectangle tool. Then using the pencil tool add any annotations or highlights to the page. Here are the final four pages cropped and annotated and are now combined into one PDF file ready for continuous viewing on the tablet. This now is not suitable for horizontal page turning. It is set up for vertical continuous viewing. Here is the PDF file for the, the chart which has now been formatted so it can be viewed with continuous vertical scrolling downwards. We tend to use uh, finger scrolling downwards. Uh, you can also use a page uh, and a page turner, but a foot switch set up to scroll downwards. This uh, recording uh, video is done with a, on a Fire HD 10 tablet, which has a 16:9 aspect ratio. So you'll notice at the bottom of the page, you already can see the the, the top of, of of page two. So you, in this particular one you can actually view all of the repeat sections without having to move at all so when you get to the bottom of the the second uh, repeat section there's a seven bar break which gives you time to scroll upwards and you can now see you go carrying on with the uh, playing the, the what would be page two which takes you down to the ds but now you do not have to go back to the top of page one for the DS because it's been formatted to enable you to see the sign going going continually downwards. So there's the sign and you can now scroll down a little bit further. You can see in, there is a repeat section here where it jumps to the second time bar. I whited out some of the half lines that were irrelevant. Go down to the coder sign and you can immediately jump to the coder without just without having to go back or forwards. This is so much easier formatting charts to read them when they are a, a bit complicated like this one. For those PDF charts that are more complicated, then formatting will make it so much easier to read the music on the tablets. There is more information in the text the description uh, attached to this uh, video on the software and also on the other videos I have prepared on using tablets for bands. For the future, it is quite possible that tablets will replace music, but there will be a long period where perhaps both will be used alongside or together. Many bands and musicians, musicians are in fact already using tablets instead of paper music, so it is a good idea to encourage other bands and players to try using tablets uh, for their music and their PDFs, but it helps if the PDFs are properly formatted so it will be a good experience for them.